Hey friends, so today we are going to be using our Cricut and vinyl to make some really, really cute coffee mugs. So I have four free cut files for you. Just hop up to the link above or go down to the description below and grab those files. If you want to make sure that you get the freebies every time we do them, and we do them just about every week, just make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss anything. You are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and I'll meet you in Design Space. Okay, so now we're in Cricut Design Space and I've just opened up a new canvas and I went ahead and named it. And what we're going to do is go into Upload. And Upload Image, this right here is where you're going to be able to bring in a JPEG, a GIF, PNG. And my files come in JPEG, PNG, and SVG. So you're going to be able to upload any of those three, whichever you would prefer to use. And I typically use SVG. That's what all of these right here are. Um, and in this set, there are four. So prayer first, then coffee, I've already made into a mug, which I think I showed you a minute ago. Um, we are going to make first prayer today. And then this one right here, I'm going to actually put this on a t-shirt. I think that would be super cute. I love to um, run in the spring, summer, and fall. And um, I should be running in the winter too. <laughs> But I'm going to make this into a t-shirt, um, so we'll do that a different day. For now, we're going to do first prayer. Okay, so we're going to insert that into our mat. It's going to come in larger than I want it to be for my mug. My mug is um, the area that I want to use for the vinyl is probably like two and a half by four is probably my max. Um, and I have a really fun flat front mug that is always available at Target. Um, so if you guys are Target shoppers and you want something that has that flat front that makes it a little easier to apply um, the um, transfer tape to, hop over to Target and pick up a mug. I think they're like $1.99 or maybe $2.50. Okay, so what we're going to do now that it's in, you see that it's all the same color. Well, I am going to want to use two different kinds of vinyl. So I want to use a... Um, I'm going to highlight both of these using my shift key. I want to use a patterned vinyl for prayer. And then I'm going to use a solid black for the word first. So for these two, I'm going to go ahead and weld them together so that they don't move. I want them to go to the mat exactly as they are. And then I'm going to click on them again and change the color. And I'm just going to use a gray so that my machine knows that it's two different cuts. So this is a little bigger than I really want it to be. So I'm going to select all, grab it at the corner, and make it smaller. And I'm going to go about 2 inches, 3.7. I think this will fit nicely on the front of my mug. Okay. So now I'm going to save. I always save everything before I make it just in case something goes wrong. Okay, so now we're going to make it. So now that we've selected make it, it brings it over onto two mats. The first is going to be our um, patterned vinyl, and then the second is going to be our solid black. And this is very small, so just be careful when you cut it out. The machine will cut it out just fine. Just be careful when you're weeding. Okay, so let's start with this one, and I'm going to take you over to the craft table in a second, but I want to show you that at this stage you're going to connect your machine if you've not already and then you're going to select your material. So both of these are actually just under premium vinyl. Um, the pattern vinyl is just premium just like the other. It doesn't matter what color is laying on top of it. And I've already selected it as a favorite. If you haven't, you would be able to browse all materials and hop down and grab that. So they suggest a fine point blade for this type of material. It's already in my maker. And so we're ready to go over to the craft table and put everything on the mat. Okay, so let's talk about what's on our craft table. So I have my maker, I have my mat, I have a flat front faced mug, I have a scraping tool, my weeding tool, this is the premium vinyl I was telling you about, love this. This one's also in that group. Then I have a black, solid black, and transfer tape. Must have transfer tape, trust me, it will save your sanity. All right, so let's get everything onto the mat and start cutting. 
Okay, so I'm a bit of a hoarder of materials, so I am going to cut out the exact size that I need um, for my mug, and it's about um, a three by three and a half. So what I like to do is put the material on my straight edge. This is one of my favorite, favorite tools. Should have had this on the craft table at first to show you guys, but it's going to be, um, I'm gonna do it just slightly bigger. The nice thing about this ruler is I can see here exactly where I need to pull it to. So I'm gonna pull it down to about three and a half. Okay, so now that we have our tiny little piece of material, I mean, just think about how many mugs you could make off of one little sheet of this vinyl. Okay, so we're going to place it in the corner and then I'm just gonna use the scraper to make sure that it's nicely applied. And guys, if you have a mat that is not as tacky as you would like for it to be, I sometimes will use a little piece of scotch tape at each of my corners, just barely holding it on, and um, then I just get more use out of my mat. Okay, so now we're done with our cut. I'm just gonna take it off of the mat, and then um, when it's a larger letter like this, or the letters are larger, you can pull some of that away with your hand. And then you can go ahead and use your tools when you need to get into these smaller areas like within this A right here. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out the word first and I went ahead and weeded it. And with something this small, it's not hard. You just have to make sure that you um, get all of the negative um, vinyl out and then for the little eye on the word first if you pull it off and you find that you took the eye off then or the dot to the eye off then what you need to do is just take that piece that you pulled away lay it back sort of on top of it and use this tool to hold the dot in, in place and then pull it away again and then your dot will stay and i actually did this when i was creating this project so it works um, okay, so now that we have these pieces and we have a little piece of transfer tape and we have our mug, we're then going to apply the transfer tape to each piece and then put it on our mug. Super simple. And I would personally start with the larger of the two. Okay, so once you've peeled the backer away, one of the things I love about transfer tape is the grid. And so holding this down with your fingers, I would try to get my grid as straight as possible across the bottom of a set of letters and then of course not having any bubbles in it and I got a little bubble right there so I'm going to try to take that out with my scraper and you can kind of go in between the letters just to make sure that it's going to pick them up okay so then we take our transfer tape and pull the backer one way and the transfer tape the other and sort of help it to pick up the letters if they don't come away immediately. Okay, great, we got them all. Okay, so then we're going to place it. And remember, you have to put the word first above it. So we're gonna go kind of low on our mug. Okay. Now use your scraping tool to apply to make sure you get your letters where you want them. Okay, and this is when you can really go in between um, each of the letters making sure the, the sticky is getting there. And then you always pull from the corner. Always pull your transfer tape away from the corner. Look how perfect, it came off perfectly. Okay, so then we're just gonna move right on to the word first. And again, if you can, um, holding it down with your finger, try to line the grid up the best you can. And then use, oops. Use a scraper if you need to sort of make sure you get around each of those fine points of the letters. Okay, pick that up. 
And then again, pulling from the edge, helping it along if you need to. There we go, so we have board first. Now we're going to put it just above and centering it. a little more like this. Okay, put it in place. Use our scraper. And we're going to pull from the edges. Okay, and if it pulls away like that, just kind of go back with your scraper until it lets go. Yay, all done, how cute. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I love the patterned vinyl. And then this is another one, prayer first, then coffee. And I'm thinking I might make a couple more. I might make four um, to hang next to my coffee maker. These turn out so darling, I'm so excited. Make sure you hop over and grab these files. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed crafting with me as much as I enjoyed crafting with you. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. And if you have any questions about your Cricut um, or about what we crafted today, I hope you'll leave me a comment down below and I will do my very best to answer your questions. You are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop, and I'll see you next time.